Hello friends, today we've got a piece of mind-boggling news about the HIV, also called as the human immunodeficiency virus. We've tried to cover the medical facts in a simple manner, so stay with us till the end of the video. We'll be talking about a newfound variant of HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. Now before starting with the content, do you know the difference between HIV and AIDS? HIV is a virus which stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, whereas AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, is a complex of symptoms that starts appearing gradually as the number of immune cells in your body starts dropping. So this new variant of HIV has been recently discovered in the Netherlands and appears to cause faster disease progression compared with other versions of the HIV. As I have already said, the majority of the cases were reported in the Netherlands, but so far this variant has been detected in some parts of the Switzerland and Belgium as well. What does HIV do to the human body? The HIV or the human immunodeficiency virus infects and destroys immune cells called the CD4 cells in the body, causing the number of these cells to fall rapidly. If left untreated, the infection then progresses to AIDS which stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, which I have always talked about. In people infected with this newfound HIV variant, called the VB variant, the CD4 cells count fall at about twice the rate as those of people infected with previously occurring HIV strains that normally were believed to cause infections in the population. So without treatment, the infections with the VB variant would likely progress to AIDS on average within 2-3 to three years of a person's initial HIV diagnosis, whereas with other versions of the virus, the similar phenomenon occurs in about 6-7 to seven years on average after diagnosis, which is quite a lot of time than the VV variant. The individuals with this variant would be expected to progress from diagnosis to advanced HIV in just 9 months if they do not start treatment and if they are diagnosed in their 30s which gives us an idea that the disease progression is even faster in older person. But the good news is that the antiretroviral drugs, which are the standard treatment for HIV, works just as well against the VB variant as they do against other versions of the virus. The scientists have continually been studying about the emergence of these new variants to focus on reducing the death and the amount of circulating virus and thereby reducing the chances of new and more deadly variants emerging. As we have said in the earlier videos, the more the virus stays in the body, more are the chances of mutation. So how was the VB variant spotted? A groundbreaking project called the Beehive Project, which first began in 2014, was created to understand how changes in the virus encoded in its genetics causes difference in disease and they found that the variant carries many mutations scattered throughout its genome. This project brings together data from seven national HIV cohorts in Europe plus one in Uganda. So while analyzing data from the ongoing study, the team identified 17 individuals infected with a distinct HIV variant, all of whom carried strikingly high concentrations of the virus in their blood early during infection between 6 months and 2 years after diagnosis. And out of the 17 cases, 15 of the infected individuals were from Netherlands, 1 was from Switzerland, and 1 was from Belgium. Now let's learn a little bit about the HIV. We've known for centuries that HIV previously was a disease of monkeys and was first transmitted to humans from simians. Later, it started spreading via homo and heterosexual contacts. And very few people know this thing that there are basically two types of HIV virus, HIV-1 and HIV-2. And among these, HIV-1 is the commonest since it is found in many parts of the world. It can further be classified into groups M and O and P, out of which M is the major or the predominant one found throughout the world and inside this group M2, there are 12 subtypes, ranging from A to L. What's interesting about HIV-2 is that it's only found in Africa. This newfound variant belongs to the genetic subtype B, 
the HIV virus is most commonly found in the Europe and the United States. A study was made in a large group of HIV-positive individuals in the Netherlands who were diagnosed positive between 1981 and 2015. Viral genetic sequence data was available for more than 8,000 of these individuals and out of them, 6,700 were infected with subtype B viruses. The individuals who suffered from the VB variant carried 3.5 to 5.5 folds higher viral load than the people infected with the other subtype B variants, which gives us an idea that the virus has a high predilection to human body. And at the time of diagnosis, the individuals infected with the VB variant already had a lower CD4 counts than those infected with other strains of HIV virus. So compared with other people newly diagnosed with HIV, their CD4 counts both started lower and failed faster. Now talking about the history of the emergence of this variant, even though we have started hearing about the VV variant now, it's estimated that it likely first appeared during the late 1980s or 1990s in the Netherlands. And around that time, the first antiretroviral treatment for HIV had just been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration and treatments used in combination of antiretrovirals were not yet available. It's believed that there are a high number of untreated HIV individuals who were not virally suppressed in Western Europe. And this high number of people who were not treated with antiretrovirals would have provided a large population in which the new variant could have emerged possibly. On top of being highly virulent, the VB variant may also be more transmissible than other versions of HIV. The scientists expect many groups around the world to begin screening their data to see if the VB variant has spread widely or not. The genetic sequence has been published to the world so that countries can screen it and decrease its possible outbreak. It's good to hear that apart from the cases detected in people from Switzerland and Belgium, the team has found no initial evidence of the variant beyond the Netherlands. That's all about the VB variant of HIV. Our motive of the video is to aware you guys about the viral outbreaks and its consequences that could be harmful to humans, rather than just creating rumors that are unscientific. Hope you liked the video. Do give it a thumbs up and leave a subscription down below for more medical news and informations. Till then, made it? made it for you.